each one's a, a blessing and it's just really cool to get to know them and to have um, you know that to cherish your whole life just those relationships with your kids there's nothing like it So we have three boys, um, ages eight, seven, and five. And we just moved up to Ohio um, in May of 2013, mm -hmm. right? And uh, when we moved up, we were actually pregnant. And um, we, then in July, we found out we miscarried at about 16 weeks. miscarried again in December of 2013 at 13 and a half weeks. So we were at the point where we we're like, we're done, no more babies. You know, it just kind of, it was a hard road. Bethany had three deliveries in a row and then two miscarriages. Two miscarriages are very emotionally traumatic. Thoughts that run through your mind. Will I ever be able to be pregnant again? Can I ever have a full-term baby? Is, am I doing something wrong? Is there something wrong with me? They put me through all this testing to try to figure out, you know, how did you have three fine, you know, no issues at all, and then all of a sudden you're miscarrying late into the pregnancy. You know, it's not a seven-week miscarriage. We try to treat everybody as an individual. Uh, not everybody the same, but give everybody the same high-quality care we can. I always say to myself, I, I like treating patients. If I ever have a tough medical or ethical decision, I look at it and say, well, if this was my daughter, how would I want her treated? The staff at Atrium were really very instrumental in comforting us through all of that and in, in helping us to see um, you know that it doesn't we don't have to stop trying to have babies um, that it's okay to keep going but it's also um, our decision so the the ladies doing the ultrasound and you know we see one baby and Bethany and I are I think both saw two, but we're not certain at this point. Um, so she's like, here's your baby, talks a little bit more. And then she's like, and here's your other baby. And so we look at each other and, uh, you know, I'm just tearing up at this point and we're both overwhelmed. Um, and it was, it was really um, a miracle. Twins we feel are safer not going past 38 weeks of gestation, which is two weeks before your due date. Uh, we feel at that time, babies are safer outside the womb than inside the womb. I started having some contractions. Um, and so the doctor had me come in uh, and they ended up it did look like I was going into preterm labor. Contractions in a twin pregnancy are quite common, but you have to differentiate whether these are a minor everyday uh, non-issue or is this a major, major problem? And if it's getting worse, we're heading for babies born prematurely that uh, could have real difficulties. So they admitted me to Atrium, uh, where I, sp I was there a few hours. Um, oh no, I had spent the night there. And then the next morning, that it did show that I was um, progressing, and so they—he's on his way back from Montana, and they transferred me up to Miami Valley. We gave her treatment that made the contractions go away, and had a very successful outcome. She went home in two days. We were able to tell her husband that things are all right; these deliveries are not going to happen right away. Her pregnancy went very, very well, but she got to be 38 weeks pregnant and it was time to have the babies. Our nurses went at the delivery, I felt like I'd known them my whole life. You know, I felt like my two best friends were in the room with me. You know, it was just a really, I mean, the minute they walked in, that it was just like, you know, they were friends. They weren't just nurses, you know, and that was, to me, awesome. What really differentiates our hospital from others is I feel is our nurses. Our nurses, uh, I'm. I feel it's almost a calling. These people do it because they love it, they talk about it. All their life they want to be labor and delivery nurses. The feeling when your babies are finally in your hands is just, there, there aren't words really that describe it. Um, for me it just, it overwhelms me emotionally. I mean with every 
every delivery it was like that it's just it's a miracle you know having a life that was you know in the womb one minute and then in your hands another is uh, there's just no no way to describe that In my 33 years of delivering babies, this was one of the most beautiful deliveries I've ever seen. This is Madison Anaya Brown, and this is my only and youngest daughter. And then this is Matthias Samuel, and boy number four. <laughs> <laughs> Just thank you for not letting us give up. You know, I think it was our first reaction was to give up. And um, just the encouragement from all of the, because I saw all the doctors, all of them there, is just, I would say thank you, because we wouldn't be sitting here if they wouldn't have encouraged us to keep on going. Um, and, and then at Atrium, I just, just for the way that they, um, they made us feel like, like I said before, that. Um, we weren't just patients, you know, it was almost like we were family or that we knew each other and, you know, like Jeremy had said, that their best interest, or our best interest was, um, was what they wanted, you know, and they had nothing else but that in mind. You do your best at that moment in time every minute of your day. And you know what you do tomorrow? You do your best all over again. <laughs>